Welcome to this tutorial on Glogster. Glogster is the app up at the top, the green with the white G. Glogster, I like to think of it as an interactive poster maker. Basically, you start off with a blank canvas and you can add text, audio, pictures, videos, you'll see. So I'll open up the app. To log in, you're going to use your first three, first three, last three for both your username and password. Again, you're going to use first three, first three, last three for your username and your password. If you're a new student, we haven't created your Glogster account yet, um, please email me at gcodney at fairview.k12.oh.us or have your teacher email me and I'll be sure to create your account right away. So I'll log into Glogster. Press log in. You're going to see that you're going to see previously made Glogsters or for today what we're going to do is create a new one. So you can either do a vertical Glog or, or a horizontal one. So I'm going to choose landscape. When you first start a Glog, you're going to see that they give you a basic tutorial on how to use it, how to add content. Um, you can shake your iPad to preview it. I just like to use the uh, arrow in the lower right-hand corner to preview, preview things, or even to take an object and swipe it up to the trash. So I'm going to start by adding content. I'll select the plus button. As you can see, I can add text. So if I wanted to add a heading, I could double tap and click Edit Text. And type penguin in. You can see I can even probably change color if I wanted to. I can move it around now if I wanted. Double tap again and I could edit text. If I wanted to, I could make it larger. Looks like you can even add some effects on the text as well you can play around with. So if I go to image, I could use images that I've already saved on my camera roll or images that I've taken using my camera. The feature that I really like the most about from Glogster is if you select web, the, the icon all the way on the right, and you go up to and just start typing in, for example, Google Images and type in penguin and press search. It's going to start searching Google, select images. And you can see here are images of penguins. You can scroll up and down. The coolest part is how easy it is. You find a picture you like, you click it, you drag it, and bam, it's on your glog. Press the X, and you're back working on your glog again. So you can make it larger, you can move it around. I mean, it's that easy. If I want to add more content, press plus. Add video. I can either record video or have video for my camera roll. Again, I can go to web. Browse YouTube. I type in penguin swimming. Of course, I want to preview this to make sure this is okay, or that the whole video that I'm about to be publishing in my blog is appropriate. But I'll put it on my blog. I think I could probably even preview it. Yep, right here in the YouTube app itself. I'll press pause for time's sake right now, but you know, you're going to want to make sure that you preview that the video is appropriate. Press X. Come back to your blog. Plus again, you can add audio if you wanted to record your voice. So you could have maybe some information that you wrote down about penguins that you wanted to record. If you wanted to have a solid background. Maybe you wanted an Arctic type color. Probably even find a picture of an iceberg and make that your background. The lower right hand corner, if you press the arrow and press preview, this will give you kind of a snapshot of what your video or blog will look like. Press the arrow again and back to edit. I don't believe in edit you'll be able to play your YouTube video and you can't. I'm trying to press the play button right now. If you double tap on pictures, you can see you have some options. But if I press preview, then I press pl the play button, then YouTube will be able to um, play that video. So the best way to learn any app is to go ahead and get in and explore it, play around with it a little bit, see what it's like. If you have any questions, ask some of your classmates to see if they've experienced this before. Or as always, please feel free to email me at gcodney at fairview.k12.oh.us. Enjoy Glogster.